Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make a LED dice with addressable LED strip, touch sensor, and AT Tiny 85. You can even use Arduino for this project. So let's get started making it. So for this project you will need an Arduino, WS2812B RGB LED strip 7 bit, a touch sensor, breadboard and some wires. Now follow this simple circuit diagram and make your connections. After completing the connections, connect your Arduino board with your computer and open my code. Over here, you just have to change these lines. For now, I have already did it. You have to un uncomment the Arduino lines and comment down the AT Tiny 85 lines. Just select the Arduino board, select the old bootloader, select the port and upload the code. To make this project more compact and look good, I am using AT Tiny 85 microcontroller. So to program this, we will need to connect it with the Arduino Uno. So this is the circuit diagram. So to make this easy, I am designing my own PCB which will act as a shield over the Arduino Uno board. I have converted it into a PCB file and downloaded the Gerber file. And to place the order of our PCBs, I am visiting jlcpcb.com who are also the sponsors of this project. So we'll add our Gerber file over here, select the quantity, color and place our orders. You can see the quality of these PCBs is very good. So we'll quickly place our components over this board and start soldering it. Before we upload the code, we have to remove this AT Tiny 85 PCB board from the Arduino Uno board and connect the Arduino with the computer. Now open the Arduino ID, go to examples and select Arduino ISP. Now we just have to simply upload this to our Arduino Uno board. Select the port board and upload the code. After uploading, connect back the PCB over the Arduino. Now open my code. Over here we are using ATtiny85. So 
so we have to uncomment these lines over here and comment down the Arduino Uno lines because it has different pin definitions you just have to do this now we'll select the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller we'll select 80 tiny 85 processor I'm using a external oscillator 16 megahertz so I will select it then I will select the port we'll select Arduino as ISP and burn bootloader after this we'll just simply upload the code now the code has been uploaded and we'll remove the 80 tiny 85 from the shield now follow this circuit diagram and make your connections with 80 tiny 85 microcontroller I am using a zero PCB board. Over here we will connect the first three LEDs and make sure the direction of the arrow goes straight forward. Then it will take a U-turn and come back with a single LED in the center. Just check the directions of the arrow on the LED strip. Then we will again reverse it and connect the three LEDs at the right. So you can see the path how does the LED connection goes. Then we'll also connect the 80 tiny 85 over this. I'm using an external crystal oscillator of 16 megahertz. So it will connect over here. Also I'm using a 330 ohms resistor for the LED strip. And at last, we'll connect the touch sensor over this PCB. After connection of all these components, the PCB looks like this. I've also painted this PCB into white color, so it looks very good. So as you can see the direction of the LED strip, you can see the arrows, how it is connected with each other. I have completed the soldering as well and also added a switch and two pins for our LiPo battery. So I'm using this 3.7 volt LiPo battery which is enough to power our this small project. So after connecting the LiPo battery just simply turn on the switch and you are ready to go. So friends I hope you will enjoy playing this board games with this LED dice. So if you like this video then do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.